Dear viewers, we all love music, but most of us don't know how to create music. But what when somebody loves music, is passionate about it, composes music, sings, and can easily be called a creator of music? I have with me today Raghu Dixit. Warm welcome to the show. Thank you. What are you exactly? You sing, you compose, yeah. you're a creator of music. Well, you can say that. Uh, so far, so good. <laughs> but, um, I mean, to create music, the common accusation is that you need to be trained in it. <laughs> uh, not necessarily. I think uh, if you look at any traditional uh, journey of a musician, mm. uh, I would say uh, the very source of music is, is folk music, mm. if you see. And uh, the folk music originated from people who would work in the fields or women who would grind uh, okay. uh, grains. Uh, grains at home. And they would all sing to, just to express their day-to-day -day feelings okay. or to forget the, the hard, hardship that they've gone through the entire okay. day. And they were not trained musicians. Okay, but most often when you try to understand music, it's mm. like uh, so mathematical mm. that there's so much precision in it. Ha. That you're talking about the rags, that you're talking about the the meter, Correct. that you're talking about Correct. everything that's in the right place at the yeah. right time. Yeah. And that is how somebody becomes a better musician, whether somebody is passionate about music at all. Uh, I will definitely argue on that. Mm. I don't think uh, just because one is a trained musician. Uh, he's a better musician. Mm. Uh, I think music at the end of the day comes from the heart okay. and uh, it is only the matter of the heart and not about the brain and mathematics and etc okay. etc. Et uh, it can be better uh, you know it can be a tool to probably express in a different way okay. but it cannot be the best way. But is it possible that if you really know music academically mm. it makes it easier for you to compose because you know you would be able <laughs> to actually uh, make it uh, more of a process than an experiment. Uh, for me, it is not an experiment nor a process. Mm. It is it is a very spontaneous reaction to a situation that I am in, or okay. I'm uh, a situation that I've experienced through other people, okay. or a situation given by my director according to the movie music. I'm uh, according to the story of a movie. Okay. So I am right now connecting to that situation completely from my heart okay. and composing, okay. and not because I'm not saying. Oh, this raga is a happy raga, so let me compose this song in this particular raga and automatically it will fit into this situation. Okay. But that is a very technical uh, approach towards music. Okay. And you are completely uh, uh, avoiding this, the, the matter of the soul. You're in the box all yes. the time. So your music automatically lacks the soul. Okay. I would say. But could it be possible in the modern day world, yeah. uh, you can compose a song in a happy rag, but still also can play it in a sad situation. And uh, perhaps, you know... <laughs> According the, to the weird stories that we are making. Yeah, this, could yeah, be. Maybe. And, and yeah. you compose music for a movie like Psycho. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you cannot really apply the, you know, the no, rag I mean, theory uh, to it. No, uh, I mean, as, as a composer, and as a person who has never learned music formally, uh, for me, uh, composing music has been purely a spontaneous process. It has okay. never been a technical process. Okay. Uh, now, Kannadadal helped you, Spandanath. Mm. But uh, it sounds like a tall order. It is not a tall order for a mu Like, a lot of people say that I am probably, or any music composer for that matter, that musicians, uh, composers are very blessed by the God of, the hand of God because uh, it's amazing how they can compose. But from a composer's point of view, I feel, uh, at least, uh, that it is like, like you probably writing an article or talking to somebody on a speech. It's as easy as that. Okay. It's never really a difficult process. Okay. But it's uh, not so difficult for you to understand the classical music scene because uh, you have been a classical dancer. Yes. You learned yes. Bharatanatyam yeah, and, and you're a Bharatanatyam dancer for was, 17 long years. Was. Okay. <laughs> and uh, the 17 long years of Bharatanatyam dancing itself got you closely associated with music. Oh yes, I wouldn't uh, deny the fact of my association with classical music yeah. uh, right from childhood. Okay. I started and, and not I just you know singing or you know listening and appreciating and placing every footstep according to a yes. certain beat yes. and that gets you to understand rhythm the best absolutely I mean the sense of rhythm and and the uh, understanding of and the Indian. body just feels along with the music correct so 
there must be an advantage with so you. So there is, a, if, I will completely, uh, I would say, credit whatever knowledge of music I have to the dance years of my life. Okay. And uh, as a dancer, you also understand how to feel the music that you're mm. dancing And particularly to. when you're composing for movies, yeah. you're also sometimes composing for a dance. Yeah, absolutely. So you can almost imagine the dance. Oh, no. Kind of dance. <laughs> I need to be. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, but yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no. I heard, you know, when you go behind something, you go like a bull, uh, <laughs> charging till you get it. Yes, I am quite, uh, what do I say, passionate about uh, everything in life. Mm. Uh, be it uh, the music that I compose and sing, uh, be it the dance I used to dance. Mm. I'm still passionate about dance uh, mm. in an in a, in a artistic way. And, and you see that in your wife. Oh, yes, she's definitely. She's such an accomplished dancer. Yeah, she's a fabulous she's dancer. tried almost <laughs> every kind of dance. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I'm passionate about the food I eat. Oh. So, so it, that explains that. <laughs> I'm passionate about everything. Okay. If, if, uh, if I set my and you forget your mind. food, I heard, when you compose music. So oh, And yes. still, if you're passionate about food, food must be that important then. But music uh, kind of supersedes everything. Okay. Uh, they say music is the food to the soul. Is it like, you know, very <laughs> euphemistically put? <laughs> okay, if that's pun intended, welcome. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, talking about... Uh, that I charge like a bull. Yes, music started very late in my life, mm -hmm. and it started uh, during my second year BSc. Mm -hmm. And it was because somebody uh, in my college, a fellow classmate, uh, taunted me that uh, it's a very effeminate thing for me to pursue Bharatanatyam as an art form. Ah. And he used to be a guitarist and singer with ah. long hair and baggy jeans and stuff like okay, that. Okay. So, and because he taunted me, I taunted back to him, saying, "Give me two months, and I'll show you that I can be a rock star. Okay. And I'll play your song, and I'll." you know, uh, play a guitar and sing a song, a rock song, and show it to you that I can be man enough to take up a challenge like that. Okay. But in the meantime, if you can learn three, four decent Bharatanatyam steps, then I'll agree that you're a man too. Okay. And that's the reason why I started playing the guitar. Okay, so but did, I did you learn dancing? No, obviously he took it as a joke, but okay. I took it very seriously. So in the next two months, I'll, I, I kind of picked up a few chords and a song, okay. and went back to the college and played him a song. And, and that really set me off learning music, actually. Okay, uh, but was it like a new discovery, or like suddenly you realized that, look, I have it in yes, me? Yes, in those two months, I realized the joy of singing, the, uh, the freedom that you get, okay. of, of holding a guitar and singing, and letting your, your own air out, and making a melody out of it. Okay. I think it's a... And I think it's a very personal, yet very beautiful feeling. Okay. But at the same time, I think that personal feeling can be shared with many, many people around you and make them happy or sad with whatever you okay. render, you know. But forget about the taunt, but did you also have a guilt in yourself that you were a Bharatanatyam dancer? Never, you know? never. I was very proud as a dancer, actually. Mm -hmm. It was, again, even dance started in a very, very funny situation where there used to be a cousin sister of mine, younger to me, and she used to, we were a joint family, and mm -hmm. she was practicing Bharatanatyam at home. Mm -hmm. And I used to stand behind her and, and make fun of her, imitating mm -hmm. her, how she moves. Okay. And my ba dad mistook that for talent. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and and pushed me into Bharatanatyam the very next day. Oh. And and uh, grudgingly I went because I used to be the only guy among some 20 girls in the class. Mm. And uh, it was very difficult for me to uh, you know accept the fact that yes this is this is I'm actually there and learning Bharatanatyam okay. because just pre previous day I was making fun of my cousin but sister. But there is this fear right that uh, when a guy starts dancing particularly Bharatanatyam yeah. he would end up a little effeminate, okay, but, you know, yeah. but looking at you, that doesn't Thank seem you. true at all. It, but it, was it like a deliberate thing that you always no. wanted to look manly? Not my deliberate you thing, but I would, too, credit, so. <laughs> I would credit that to my dance teacher. Okay. Uh, very few dance teachers understand that there is a very distinctive style for men to mm. dance for oh, okay. and a distinct style to, for women to dance. Mm. And, and uh, very, very fortunately, uh, mm. my dance teacher, Srimati Nandinish, were based in Mysore. She was very particular about how we men, even her son was dancing okay. along with me uh, much later. We were very particularly told not to do things that 
certain things were meant only for girls. Okay, okay. And uh, that way we were very manly in our dancing style. Okay, and that's required too. Yeah, yes, yes. Because it's otherwise it's all those dainty moves and all that. Absolutely. You, know, you really look at uh, what you're accused of. <laughs> correct, correct. I, I completely agree. And yeah. of course the makeup that you put on uh. and everything. Yeah, it's very uh, easy for ignorant, normal janta to misinterpret mm. it as And that's one of the feminism. reasons why a lot of guys don't take it up. Because and well, that's very sad indeed. Uh, it's, it only uh, uh, points to the ignorance yeah. and lack of awareness. Some, uh, and of course, blame it on certain teachers also mm. who do not know the very difference because in style for men and women. Because most teachers are women themselves. <laughs> you know? so, yes, but then... Yeah, uh, that's true. Because, but, you know, uh, yeah, like I said, I was very fortunate to learn under the teacher okay. I learned. And, uh, and but today, uh, you seem to be doing a job of uh, uh, a guide, uh, not just a friend, a critic too, to your wife. Oh, uh, well. Giving a lot of suggestions. Oh, yes, because of whatever background I had as a dancer. Okay. And uh, sh uh, she seriously takes my but opinion. But sadly, she did not think that you're a great singer for a very long time. And you know a little too many things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when she... केवल प्योर ला जेन प्योर नीर बेकु निंगे एचएनएसटी टेक्नोलॉजी इन द तैयार आदत जेन प्योर आरो प्यूरिफायर न दरी इत्ते हेल्दी प्योर हागो टेस्टी नीरो इधु प्योर ला इधु जेन प्योर एंड शी सीरियसली टेक्स माय बट सैडली शी डिड नॉट थिंक दैट यू आर अ ग्रेट सिंगर फॉर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम एंड यू नो अ लिटिल टू मेनी थिंग्स yeah when she met me for the first yeah, time she I thought for a very long time to come yeah, to I, in fact i for asked some her, reason she thought maybe you're a bad musician yeah because the first few times i, I met her and I, i used to call her and invite her for my concerts and uh, she very conveniently would say i know i'm busy with this i'm busy with that and avoid it is only because she didn't have much faith in you yeah she thought i was a very bad musician without even listening to me even once yeah. she had already what was that she had already <laughs> presumed that I was what was that to do i don't know maybe But they look in yeah, my face perhaps. i don't know okay. this guy oh, i don't uh, think maybe to have long did you have long hair no 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 i never had long oh, hair nothing <laughs> <laughs> so anyway eventually she i did coax her into uh, yeah, you know yeah. i in fact made her sister get her to my concert okay. finally and she heard me and uh, this was at radio city live competition oh. 90 2001 okay. and uh, that's when she kind of Oh, okay. not bad. <laughs> okay, but now you really compliment each other, not oh, yes. just in terms of giving compliments, but you <laughs> really work. Uh, yes, we do. I do music. Each other yes, today. absolutely. Her experiences as a performer mm. has definitely helped me also. Okay, and uh, vice versa. Yeah. Okay, you have a brother who is a musician. Yes, I have a younger brother who became a musician. <laughs> yes. Okay. But how did Antaragni come into be? Antaragni was my first band, which started in Mysore with uh, a violinist called uh, H N Bhaskar. Mm. Uh, he's now based in Chennai, I think. Uh, we started just as a duo, okay. and we called it purely Antaragni for the sheer beauty of that word. Okay. Fire uh, from within. The fire within, yes. And uh, we continued along, and I moved to Bangalore in search of a job. I worked as a Um, microbiologist. microbiologist here in Bangalore, and then he moved on to Chennai for higher studies in Carnatic classical music, and then he started touring abroad a lot, and that's when we kind of parted ways. Okay. But meanwhile, I started jamming with musicians here, okay. and formed a band, and we did pretty well for six, seven years okay. together, and we played almost every college circuit in the college uh, in, in in the country, okay. and like any other band. Okay. But, But how then did the album. The album happened much later. As Antragni, we never managed to release the album. Okay, but you really went around to many music producers. Yes, I did <laughs> knock on every music label possible. Okay. Uh, some music labels told me I'm not good good looking enough for worth an album. <laughs> oh, okay. And some music I labels. Mean, are there things like that? Oh actually? yes, of course. I mean, I was told by a lady uh, uh, artist manager in in a record label saying. Uh, you're not good looking enough that I can put your posters and women will go gaga and buy your album. So we oh. need to spend a lot of money in promoting your kind of music. How first stupid! Of all. And your music is also not What anywhere. What did you say? Oh, I just walked out, uh, giving her back the contract she was holding out for me. And uh, well, thanks to women. Well, thanks. But this music switch. industry itself is quite cruel, isn't it? So because But music that's what is believed because, because you know, the people who are in the music industry running the business are purely business people and not really artists and even themselves. those vested interests those people who have been sitting there for a long time even as singers and performers too don't want anybody else to come in so easily it's uh, always made so <laughs> No, but that people. you I've, cannot accuse, but certainly yeah, because let's I've talk got, about. <laughs> I've, no, I've really found uh, many uh, people who have turned out to be angels in my life. 
Oh. Uh, for example, Vishal and Shekhar. I mean, mm. they, uh, they, they had no reason. All the publicity. Yeah, they had no reason whatsoever to release my album. Put mm. the. Uh, I mean, put the kind of people they got to speak about your music. My yeah. God. Yeah. Who? And they got Salman them. Khan or no, Shah Rukh Khan. I, they got Sanjay Dutt, Shah Rukh Khan, and they got Priyanka Chopra, and then they got uh, Karan Johar, Farah yeah, Khan. Yeah. Everybody almost. Not, <laughs> not more than what you even dreamt of. <laughs> yeah, so. absolutely, absolutely. So, Standing with them and all. <laughs> so it's not that uh, you can be cynical. But how did the album do? The album did pretty well. We were probably the highest selling non-film album uh, last year. Mm -hmm. and uh, Still selling? Yes, still selling because we're going to push it more now with uh, two more new videos. Okay. Uh, so hopefully it should get further. We sold more uh, during our concerts than off shelf. What do you mean by we? Honestly. Your band. Band and the record Dikshit label projects. and my artist management is all we. <laughs> okay. I would say. Yeah. Would you call it Ragudikshit project? Yeah, I call it the Ragudikshit project because it's not really band in the real sense. Okay. It's an open house for any musicians to come and jam with me, collaborate with me. Okay. Uh, whoever would love to work with me and I would like to work with. Okay. So the so the lineup is not really fixed. It's very fluid okay. and keep changing. Okay. But in Karnataka, particularly with Kannada, it was this song. Mahadeshwara. Yeah. <laughs> but that too is so unconventional. Is but that why? Because it really sounds like it's made by somebody who has not learned music. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> there you go. Uh, well, I'm glad uh, if you could figure out I have not learned music. <laughs> I'm glad because it's the biggest thing. But, but, you but, can deny that. <laughs> but, but, but it really gets into you, right? It's like it's a worm. A, huh? Yeah, it just crawls into you. <laughs> that, that's, that's the plan. Oh, well, uh, you call it the hook. Uh, okay. Hooks are meant to get on, to get you hooked on. <laughs> yeah, you can call it the hook yeah. worm. Yeah. So I think that's my biggest strength uh, okay. to construct uh, melody lines which are very hooky. Okay. Can you sing it? Oh, yeah, sure. Better in real, honestly. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> Than in the record. Yeah. Let it's me all, tell you, I, I think never it's thought it was so <laughs> good sounding. Okay. <laughs> It always is like that. It's and very and difficult to capture the live energy of a musician. Watching you, almost <laughs> look Mahadeshwar in your mind's eye. <laughs> Correct? Yeah, it is difficult to capture the live energy uh, through uh, whatever equipment you get. It, it's it, it is virtually impossible to compare a live performance. I mean, you're an accomplished a, singer. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> I think it's a lie that you're not been trained. <laughs> The publicity gimmick. No, it? not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Yeah. I wish. I wish. No, you sing really well. Thank you. You you sing a lot. Yeah, I mean every day. I mean uh, part of my studio work every day. I keep singing. Okay. Yes, and I do a lot of live concerts. Okay, something from your album in English. Sure, it's never been in English. Okay. Uh, it's been in a mix of Hindi, English, okay. and Kannada. Okay. So, something full of passion. And oh music. yes. And let me tell you something before you start. Yeah. I have not seen many people who can create so much music out of a guitar. Oh yeah? Okay. Don't you think so? <laughs> I think all musicians do. You just do. have <laughs> one instrument. Huh. There's so much music coming out of it. Oh wow. Okay. That's a new Wonderful. observation. One Thanks. This is a song called Ambar. Ambar pe milte ke nisha tere hi har shaan khidki pe likha koi os ki boondon se tera naam ambar pe milte hain kadmon ke 
हमेशा तेरे ही हर्षा खिड़की पे लिख कोई उसकी बूंदों से तेरा नाम न खेलो सनम ये मेरे दिल की पूछे रे तेरे दिल से कि सच मुच क्या है तू दुनिया में ओ अंबर पे मिलते हैं कदमों के निशान तेरे ही हर शान <laughs> Tell me. Looking at you and before listening to your music, even I thought you were a bad musician. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. But now no, why, you know, on what basis did you get me on, just thought on maybe, you know, some, channel some. and spend 45 <laughs> minutes worth of advertising let, time on let, me? Let me tell you, <laughs> there is something in you. All right. And don't you think that people like you really need, not just, you know, assignments and movies, but uh, opportunity to sing like this oh yes I mean now people are listening to you more I'm yes. sure basically yes, because of the movie it kind yeah. of got expanded into other audiences but but but, but why wait for that I mean do you do you feel very sad about it that you know I mean somebody like you so passionate about music mm. somebody who loves it so much mm. creates such beautiful wonderful melodious uh, heart touching music and you know you have to wait for such a long time even for people to well, I would consider it as a blessing in disguise. Mm. Today, I'm more prepared to face any kind of audience. I'm, I, I, I can just hold this guitar and sing for an audience. And ho I, I know I have the confidence to hold an audience for an hour and a half, mm. if not more. And uh, uh, I can, I can uh, play with my band live. Uh, I don't have to play a CD and uh, uh, mm, yeah. mime on stage. Uh, no matter what kind of audience. Improvise, uh, oh yes, we do a, a lot of improvisation in a, in a because show. in a in a live show, only my vocal chords and and the, this guitar chords are kind of fixed. Mm -hmm. The rest of the musicians are very very much uh, let to do whatever they want to mm -hmm. and uh, interpret the song okay. in their own way. And thereby, uh, the beauty is that my songs get colored differently every time. Okay. And it's, the, the joy is renewed every time I play the same song. Okay. Who writes your songs? Oh, uh, earlier I used to write uh, myself, but I kind of exhausted my Hindi Is vocabulary. Ambar? Ambar was written by a dear friend of mine called Neeraj Singh. Okay. I kind of exhausted my Hindi vocabulary with just two songs that I wrote. <laughs> and, and the story is that without knowing much Hindi, you, you started writing Hindi songs. Yes, well, I, the only Hindi I knew was from Doodarshan. <laughs> and and uh, I did some... And what about these Kannada songs? Oh, Kannada songs, uh, I'm very passionate about, I kind of discovered, I would say. I mean, uh, uh, it was a kind of self-discovery of Shishunara Sharif's poetry. Okay. And, and I instantly fell in love with, with what he had to say, mm. with every uh, funny song of his. Okay. Because he was, I, I think he had a very funny lots bone. Lots of metaphor. Yeah, with lots of metaphor, but at the same time, so simple for any common man to mm. understand. And, and, I think and very folk-like. Yes, very folk-like and which was very close to my kind of singing. Okay. And I think uh, that's where I think me and Shishnal Sharif connected very well. Okay. And uh, since then I've been working like to create an anthology of his songs. In a way you're a modern Shishnal Sharif. I wouldn't claim that. <laughs> no, I would love to be a modern Sometimes interpreter. Sometimes you also tend to wear but a I don't mind, and all. You know, I don't <laughs> mind calling myself a modern interpreter of Shishnal Sharif's okay. poetry. Uh, and I'm quite proud that uh, we as a band has been have been able to connect Shishnal Sharif's poetry to the younger generation today. We are playing at mm. college festivals and, and people shout for mm. uh, these Kannada songs. Mm. So, uh, so I'm quite, quite happy with that. Okay, what is the next project apart from the two movies for which you're making music? Uh, apart from Superman and Just Math Matali, I'm also working towards a second album. Okay. Uh, the idea is to basically do a road trip through Brazil, Argentina and Cuba. Mm. Uh, with my couple of band members and a sound engineer, okay. jam with musicians on the road and oh, okay. make Shishnara Sharif a Latino influenced album. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Yes, and, and release it more on a global international Any level. Any plan for a Kannada album, non filmy album? 
Not really. As of now, I don't see that happening. Uh, yeah. There is, uh, there has been a, a deep interest to do it, but I haven't really met any uh, person yet who would be interested to do something like that and put money behind it. Okay. Uh, but I would really be keen to do a Canada album. Okay. Yes. But your wife says uh, you're a very nice person to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's good, been obviously uh, lying. Uh, <laughs> a good, a good companion. Uh, oh well, yeah, I'm, I can to be with. <laughs> I laugh aloud. I can make most people laugh. In your own music, you yes. don't trouble her. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, sometimes I do. Uh, I should confess that she gets neglected in my pursuit f of music. Okay, because she's also quite busy herself. She's quite busy because she makes herself busy because she knows I'm not available sometimes. Okay. Uh, that has been her common complaint that, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just not, I'm not able she's to help nice myself. She's nice thing to say now because she's making up for all those days she did not come to the concert. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, being nice to you. Oh, oh well, she's a wonderful person it, to be yeah. with, uh, nevertheless, okay. whether she complains But is there something that you plan to do together? Like oh, we, ha do? we do perform together. I yeah. do music for her regular performances. Mm -hmm. But then uh, the next uh, idea is to where we can perform together as a band and her group performing together. Okay. We have been uh, thinking about it for too long. And it's quite funny how living in the same house as husband and wife, we have not been able to create that package so far. Uh, we'd like another few days, we're celebrating to four years of our marriage. Okay. So it's, it's quite funny how we have not been able to do that. But the idea is definitely there to do in that. In all this, where did microbiology go? Oh, it went out of the window into petri plates and test tubes long back. <laughs> I, I have absolutely how, how, no, uh, what do I say, no idea or zeal to get back to it. But, is, but I love the subject. I still this, do. Uh, really a big risk that you're taking in your life. But, but then uh, now if I look back maybe uh, it was it a risk it. but when I did that I really uh, didn't consider it as a risk. Mm -hmm. I somehow very blindly believed that I'm a good musician <laughs> and I deserved an opportunity and I should Who else believed shot. in you? Nobody else. Nobody else. I had nobody who would believe behind me and, and say you're a good musician go do what you want to do. But they believe that you're a good dancer? I was a fantastic dancer. <laughs> oh. I think so, yes. But you want to teach music. You're actually going to teach some kids, you said. Oh, well, that's, well, well, that's a I, small thing that you want to do. But do you feel that, you know, once again, uh, for a self-taught musician to go and start teaching? Oh, I really uh, don't like, you think know, some, I'm going to Or rather, teach. should you be inspiring people to become musicians? Yes, I think that that's what I would look at, uh, is to tell story stories of my life okay. and if somebody can pick up a page and, and uh, get a direction to theirs I think my life is uh, well lived. What is the best that you created till date? I think it's yet to come. Till now? Till now I don't know. <laughs> is there <laughs> just one more that you can play? Okay yeah this is my favorite uh, Shishnala Sharif song it's called Soruti Hudu Maniya Malik. Oh that's a beautiful song but you have patched your Proof, right? Already. Oh yes. <laughs> I should rather. Sorti hudu maniya maligi. Sorti hudu maniya maligi. Agna na dinda. Agna na dinda. Maligi Agna na dinda Agna na dinda Soruti hudu maniya maligi Kaante kere karuna dinda Bantu kaale upi marayu Yelta shishu nala Yendu na 
ನಂಬಿದೆ ಸೋರುತ್ತಿರುವುದು ಮನೆಯ ಮಾಲಿಗೆ ಅಜ್ಞಾನದಿಂದ ಅಜ್ಞಾನದಿಂದ ಸೋರುತ್ತಿರುವುದು ಮನೆಯ ಮಾಲಿಗೆ ಪ್ರಭು ದೀಕ್ಷೆ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಫಾರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಅಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಅ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಶೋ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು I must tell you something. All that you want to do now is to rush to a music store and buy your CD. Please buy. I get 2 rupees royalty. <laughs> so Honestly. Do that. <laughs> do that. The music is wonderful. Thank you. And all the best. Thank you so much. May better things come to you. Thank you so much. Thank you.